Yo, 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 it's your boy, the Diamond Boy. Before the video starts, follow me on Insta. My Insta is TDBBoyYT. Same with my Snap. Um, and yeah, let's get straight into the video. Alright guys, so this video is going to be a tutorial on how to make your own YouTube channel, banner, art, thing, matriculator, um, and it's not that hard. So yeah, we're going to be using Pixlr for the third time, I believe. Um, and yeah, let's get straight into it. So first thing you'll need, all links in the description, is Pixlr Editor, press create new image. With, put it as 25, 60 by 1440, and box and transparent, press OK. You should have checkered background. Once you do that, press file, open image. And also, I forgot to tell you guys this, download a YouTube banner template because we're going to be needing this. Press control A, control C, control V, and there we go. We have our banner thing. All right. Now select to, um, this tool. I don't know what it's called. Uh, select that and line. No. Up. Lined that up with this as well, just like that, and press delete on your keyboard. There we go. We should be having something like this. All right. Once you do that, um, add, select layer zero, and add a new zero. I mean, add a new layer. And press file, open image. Select the background that you're gonna be needing for your back for your banner. I mean. Uh, I'm going to be using a blue grudge background for my banner, even though I'm not going to be using this banner. I'll uh, press Control A, Control C, and then Control V, Edit, Free Transform. Um, I'm going to be using it from like right there, I think. That looks good. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Alright, once you do that, what you have to do is create a new layer, use the drawing tool um, for the border size, it doesn't matter, fill shape, check in fill shape and make it black, and fill this whole thing black. Once you do that, press um, toggle layer settings, and press mode, go all the way down to you see overlay, it's going to make it darkish, that's why we're going to make the opacity. 76 so it looks darkish but not too dark at the same time if that makes sense hopefully it does um and actually i'm going to extend this a bit all right there we go and keep layer one at the top always um and yeah so once you do that create a new layer and select the drawing tool you're gonna be needing this drawing tool and we're gonna be making a square that's white so make the color white and make that square like that press edit free transform then we're going to be making it into like a polygon shape i guess just like that but it needs to be more down all right i'm pretty sure that's good yeah, I like it. All right, so it looks good. Now, once you once you do that, press um, the toggle layer settings, and you have to go back to well, what happened to this? Um, make it into overlay the mode, so it has like this glow effect. And there you go. You have like a glowish effect to your banner. Um, it's looking good so far. <laughs> once you do that, uh. Right click on there and press on layer 5 or whatever layer you had the polygon on and press the layer styles for outer glow you're gonna need it to be black and hardness needs to be 3 and size needs to be 36 there we go now it has like an outer glow to it <laughs> this is where you're gonna put your name um, and once you do that create a new layer and then make a rectangle that is black, I believe. So make a rectangle that's black. 
just like, oh no, that's light, my bad. All right, we're gonna need it to be black. All right, there we go. So we're gonna be needing a black rectangle. There we go, you have the black rectangle and what you need to do is go, where is it? No, I think it has to be white. Hmm, I think white. Capacity. Okay, wait, so let's make it into overlay again. So it has to be overlay. So pr make it, uh, oh no, you have to select the layer. Make it to be overlay and opacity, change that. And what you have to do is press on it, right click on it, go to layer styles, um, outer glow. And for the outer glow, you have to put it as black. And, oh no, I think it's supposed to be white then. So I messed up this whole thing, basically. So let's put that back to white. All right, so make a rectangle just like that. Yeah, there we go. And it's supposed to be over. Oh no, I messed up once again. Yay. Hold up. All right, there we go. You have to press the new layer that you created, not the polygon layer, because I pressed on the polygon layer. Um, opacity up, overlay, make the shape white, the rectangle white. Make the rectangle, and then right click on it, layer styles. For the hardness on outer glow, it has to be, I believe, three. And then for the size, it has to be 15. Once you do that, make the color black, just like that. And it's looking good so far. Press OK. I want to move this down a bit, though, just like that. And you're going to be thinking, um, it's like that. Like, the thing triggers, like, it's sticking out. So are you going to, no, first we're going to have to duplicate it two more times. So duplicate there so it's lighter and then another copy which we're gonna make it over there but first we have to erase this oh god control we we'll we're gonna have to erase all of this because we do not want it great yes hopefully oh and i'll be right back when i erase all of this all right guys i am back and now what you're supposed to do is uh, bring this copy and bring it all the way over here. So it's gonna be over here. Then press edit, free transform, and turn it over just like that. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's even. Yes, there we go. Um, it should be even. And then use the eraser tool again and erase all of this. And be careful when you're erasing it. Try not to erase it inside. Alright. <coughs> okay. So your banner should be looking like this so far. And I'm sorry if. My voice is very scratchy, I'm sick. <coughs> All right, so once you do that, press the type tool, well, create a new layer, and then press the type tool, and then put your name, I'm just gonna put name, and don't forget to put it all in caps, and choose the font that you want. I'm gonna be using, let's see. Um, there's this font that I really like using but I don't know where it is um I guess I'll be right back when I find it all right guys I am back and I found the font that I'm gonna be using um and change your color of the font 
white and the link to this font that I'm using right now will be in the description if you want to download it um, and press OK once you do that you can press edit free trans oh no you have to press rasterize layer edit free transform make it bigger if you want I am you would put your name here um, and there we go alright once you do that uh, you have to press on your wand tool yeah press on your wand tool select all of these press on your granite tool and make it become this this is what I'm using I don't know which one it is but I'm gonna be using this one and no I don't want it like that I want so I'm gonna undo all of this and I'm gonna put it like that and there we go it should be looking like this I know it looks ugly so far because like the edges are all messed up so that's why you're gonna right click on it press layer style layer styles inner glow make that white and for the hardness put two and for the size put six does that look good <coughs> that looks good for the outer glow now what you have to do is for the color make it black and for the hardness size make it three for the size you have to make it 12 and it should be looking like that looks good so far so like that um and this area too so whoa what just happened my Siri turned on out of nowhere um and press on another layer for tool type for like the font um select on these little areas these little boxes are for like your social medias like this one will be Instagram for example so put your insta right there put it white and I'm gonna rasterize this layer there we go do the wand do the same thing from here there we go it looks good then right click layer styles inner glow to and then I forgot I'm pretty sure it's six and make it black or no it's white for the inner glow and for the outer glow it's black <coughs> make it three and then make this I guess you can make it 15 because it's smaller so press OK edit free trans I think I didn't press that edit free transform make it smaller then you would put your social media there um if you have the same social media you can duplicate it I'm just duplicating it because it's only saying name you put name right there as well and then add another layer, file, open image, whatever social media that is. For example, this is Instagram, so press Control A, Control C, no Control V, edit, free transform. Then you can put it right there. I guess. Does it look good? Yeah, you can put it right there. Or you can, yeah, I guess you can put it right there and make a new layer, file, open image, and you can also add like your snap or your Twitter. Control A, Control C, and make it small. Just like that. I honestly like how the banner is looking. I like how the text looks. 
Um, and then if you want, you can also put like a fish channel of. If you want, you can put that. <coughs> I guess make that white. <coughs> edit. F oh no, yes, sir. Rasterize that layer. Edit for transform. Make it smaller. You can put it there. Um, I want to lower the name a little. And there you go. You can do the same thing what you did to this one to that. <coughs> if you like, um, and if you guys did enjoy this video and it was helpful, smack the like button. I would really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.